What happens when a popular politician mysteriously disappears? This isn't a hypothetical question, but the chilling reality of Josiah Mwangi Kariuki, known as JM, an ambitious and well-liked Kenyan member of parliament who vanished from his home in 1975. JM was more than just a politician. He was a freedom fighter, a member of the Mau Mau, a group that had bravely battled for Kenya's independence in 1963. Freshly elected to the Kenyan parliament, JM had set his sights on the presidency. His potential for success was undeniable. He belonged to the influential Kikuyu ethnic group, and his former role as private secretary to President Jomo Kenyatta placed him within the government's inner circle. But amidst the political landscape of mid-1970s Kenya, where dissent was a dangerous game, JM had made himself a target. And then, in the blink of an eye, he was gone. In the mid-1970s, in a Kenya where dissent was not tolerated, JM had vanished. JM was not just another politician, he was a voice for the people. Josiah Mwangi Kariuki, known as JM, was a man who dared to challenge the status quo. His convictions were strong, his voice was loud, and his courage was unwavering. He rallied against corruption, which he believed was widespread and rotting the fabric of the Kenyan society. He was not afraid to stand up for the underprivileged, the marginalized, the forgotten. He fought for a fair land distribution policy that favored the poor, arguing that the rich and powerful should not be the only ones to reap the benefits of the land. He believed in a more equitable Kenya, a Kenya that had not become a nation of 10 millionaires and 10 million beggars. Journalist and historian Martin Meredith, who covered JM's life and untimely death, described him as a playboy a label that might not typically be associated with a champion of the people. But Meredith noted that JM was not a particularly admirable character, yet he had an unerring popular touch. He had a way with words, a way with people. He knew how to reach out, how to connect, how to make people believe in a better tomorrow. His criticism of government policy made him powerful enemies, yet his popularity among the people never waned. Despite the challenges, the threats, the opposition, J.M. remained a steadfast voice for the people, a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty. One Tuesday afternoon in March 1975, Terry Wanjiru Kariuki found herself in a Nairobi morgue. The air was heavy with the sterile smell of disinfectants, the atmosphere fraught with the palpable dread of finality. It was here that Terry faced the grim reality of her husband's fate, a sight that would forever be etched in her memory. Her husband, Josiah Mwangi Kariuki, known to many as JM, lay lifeless on a cold, hard table. His face bore an unusual darkness, as if a veil of shadow had been unceremoniously draped over it. But it wasn't the sight of his lifeless body that shocked her the most. It was the tag, a simple white tag attached to his foot, bearing a single chilling word, unknown. Imagine the heartbreak, the sheer disbelief of seeing the man you shared your life with, the father of your children, a man known and loved by many, reduced to an unknown. A man who only a week before was a beacon of hope for many Kenyans, a voice for the voiceless, a champion for the poor, and a thorn in the side of the corrupt. J.M., the ambitious and popular politician, who had spent time in prison as a member of the Mau Mau, the group that had fought for Kenya's independence in 1963, was now an unknown casualty. A man who once walked the corridors of power, who shared the dreams and aspirations of a nation, was now unrecognizable in death's cold embrace. How could this be? How could a man who was part of the government's inner circle, a former private secretary to the aging President Jomo Kenyatta, be labeled as unknown? The man who had his sights set on the highest office in the land was now a nameless body in a morgue. The bitter irony was not lost on Terry. The man who once had his eyes on the presidency was now an unknown casualty in a morgue. His voice, once filled with fiery passion for justice and equality, was now silenced. But his legacy would live on, echoing through the halls of history, a testament to his unyielding spirit and unwavering resolve. The death of JM left a nation in shock and questions unanswered. The sudden void left by the disappearance and subsequent death of this vibrant politician sent ripples through the Kenyan society. There was a public outcry, a demand for answers that echoed through the bustling streets of Nairobi to the serene landscapes of the Rift Valley. J. 
Josiah Mwangi Kariuki, known as JM, wasn't just an ambitious politician. He was a voice for the people, a champion for the poor, a critic of the powerful. His death wasn't just a loss, it was an affront to those who yearned for change, those who sought a Kenya for all Kenyans. The flames of protest were fanned and the public demanded justice. Investigations were launched, but the truth proved elusive. The case was mired in controversy, with allegations of cover-ups and corruption at the highest echelons of power. The tag that read unknown on JM's foot became a symbol, a haunting reminder of the impunity with which his life was snuffed out. The questions surrounding his death remained unanswered, the mystery unsolved. Yet in death, JM became more than just a man. He became a symbol, a martyr for the cause he so passionately championed. His rallying cry against corruption, his fight for land distribution that favored the poor, his vision of a Kenya for all Kenyans lived on. His legacy was one of courage and conviction. He dared to speak out in a time when dissent was not tolerated. He dared to dream of a better Kenya. His words, Kenya had become a nation of 10 millionaires and 10 million beggars, continue to resonate, a stark reminder of the inequality he fought against. JM's influence transcended his time. His life and death left an indelible mark on Kenyan politics. It sparked a conversation, a debate about the state of the nation, the cost of dissent and the power of a popular voice in politics. It served as a wake-up call, a call to action, a call for change. Even today, JM's story continues to inspire. It is a story of a man who dared to challenge the status quo, who dared to dream, who dared to fight, his life, his death, his legacy serve as a beacon lighting the path for those who aspire to make a difference. JM's life, political career, and mysterious death serve as a stark reminder of the cost of dissent and the power of a popular voice in politics. His story is not just a tale of a man, but a tale of a nation, a tale of hope, a tale of change. And it is a tale that continues to be told.